the Interceptors, one of the fastest high-speed pursuit teams in the world. A team of 20 hand-picked officers driving specially converted supercars. They're the new front line in the war on crime. Their job, to deny criminals the use of the roads. These are the Interceptors. Coming up in tonight's program, Hello. the Interceptors <laughs> hunt for a stolen van. Stand by. Get out. Yeah. The stop check gets silly. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. And the firearms unit tackle an armed kidnapper. Yeah, no, no, we've got to stop. <laughs> 2 a.m. Southwest Essex. The Chigo Interceptors are on a late shift. They're monitoring traffic on Brentwood High Street. Mark is in the driving seat of the Evo. And veteran Russ is the passenger. It's not long before they spot a car that drives way too fast onto a roundabout. I just was a bit surprised he came onto the roundabout really quickly and for some strange reason he thought the car that uh, didn't realise he was doing 30 onto a roundabout, didn't see him. So we're just going to stop him and have a word in his shell like, see if he's been drinking. Around 2am on a Saturday night, the odds are he has. Hello, mate. Will you jump out for us? All right. Have you been drinking at all tonight? A couple of pints. Have you? OK, because uh, I now suspect you to have been driving and consumed alcohol. I require you to take a breath test. OK. What was the reason for the uh, tooting at the roundabout? Someone pulled out in front of me. No, you drove on at the roundabout far too fast, that's why. Yeah. I was a bit shocked myself. So I think he was just a bit surprised that you came on at the roundabout so quickly. So certainly it's unnecessary sounding your horn at two o'clock in the morning, wasn't it? I just want you to take a nice deep breath, blow into the device in one continuous breath. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, that's fine. Oh dear, my friend, you've just provided me with a positive breath test. I've got to tell you, you're under arrest, OK? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned. Something which you later rely on in court, OK? Right. Harlow. Harlow. The drive hasn't sobered him up any. He seems happy to have been arrested just to get a go in the Evo. At least I got to to police station one of them, rather than one of those. Pieces. I'd rather get taken, get nicked in one of them. Look at that. What's your name again? Russell. Russell, that police car's well nice. <laughs> Drunk, he might think it's a laugh, but this is deadly serious. Around 3,000 people are killed or seriously injured in Britain every year as a result of drinking and driving. Have you, since the time of the alleged defence, consumed or used any of the following things, and if so, what? Alcohol? You since I got arrested? Yeah. I don't know, have I? No, you haven't, have you? No. Place a mouthpiece in your mouth and make a good seal around it with your lips and blow steadily and evenly until I tell you to stop. There's a little uh, mark there. You just need to blow so the stars are just this side. If you fail to blow into it properly on this machine, that's called a failure. All right, so it's very important that you uh, blow into this properly. Come on. Keep going. Just keep going at that. That's perfect. Just keep going at that. Don't hit, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, don't stop, keep going, keep going, keep going. Perfect, all done. The driver blows twice and waits nervously for the result. Yep. I know what that means. That's well over. He's doubled the legal limit. So you had a little bit more than three. What does that mean in there? Uh... That means, uh, unfortunately, you're going to be charged with the, uh, the offence of drink driving and you'll be going to court probably on the uh, 10th of April. What does that mean? Can I not drive till the 10th of April? You can, yeah. You can drive till the 10th of April. Whatever you do, don't turn up for court on the 10th of April because obviously as of that moment you're going to be disqualified for, uh, for one year. Definitely be disqualified. Yeah. Finally, the seriousness of the situation is starting to sink in. Not only is he going to lose his licence, but now he can't even get home. 
school. I've got no one. My brother is in South London. Yeah. Well, I mean, what can I say? You know, we, you know, with the greatest respect, we're not a taxi service. I no, 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 no. Yeah. I'll see you there. No. Um, you're going to have to call someone to come and collect you. Or you can wait till six o'clock in the morning and get the first bus home. For blowing almost double the legal limit. You been drinking at all tonight? This driver's facing a year long ban. Damn, look at that. Russell, that police car's well nice. Looks like he won't be driving an Evo or anything else anytime soon. Be on your heads, do I make myself clear? Shut up. Don't tell me shut up, mate. PM. The Langdon interceptors are sitting up on the A13. Rogers behind the wheel of the Evo, and Mark is riding shotgun. Tipped off about an uninsured Sierra, they get behind it. Yeah, sorry, mate. This time. Unaware he's being followed, the Sierra's driver pulls into a layby to check his oil. Was this your car? Yeah. How long you had it? Uh, bought it two days ago. Yeah? Yeah. When did you insure it? Um, I bought it on uh, confused.com. Sorry? And I'm waiting for all the paperwork to come through. Yeah. Do you know what company they went with? Um, Tesco's, I think it is. You got any details of your driving last streaming? No, I haven't, no. Our computer says ain't insured, so we'll just give Tesco's a quick ring. So if you have a seat in your car a minute, yeah. we'll be back with you in a minute. <laughs> Cheers. And there's worse. The bloke doesn't even appear to have a licence. What type of licence you got? Yeah, yeah. where's your old plates? Yeah. Yeah. Other half got a licence? No. Huh? No. No? Where are you going to go home then? No. Yeah. Roger gets straight to the point. This is being seized because you ain't got a licence. Yeah? If you ain't licensed or properly insured at these days, you don't get anywhere. Yeah? Because we seize it. Because you're committing an offence because you're on no L plates, provisional licence, so you're unaccompanied. Yeah? Can't get hold of Tesco's at the moment, so we'll have to give you the benefit of the doubt at the moment, right. but you will have to produce it yeah, within yeah, seven days yeah, at the police station, yeah, normal no sort problem. of thing. You've had one of them before, have you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you know you've got seven days as of midnight yeah, tonight. Yeah. Felt do so as an offence, which you yeah, get prosecuted no, yeah. for. Yeah. But the car's going to go. The other thing is, we just want to make sure you say who you are, is yeah. we're going to stick you on what our little... What do you mean my car? What do you mean my car? Your car? Yeah, what about it? It's going to get towed away. Oh, I'll leave it out, mate. I've got, all, I've got my dog in the back. I ain't got no dog lead or nothing. Yeah, that's what taxis are for. Or buses. Yeah. What? In the middle? I'm in the middle of nowhere, You're mate. not in the middle of nowhere. See, that's a pub, look. That's a pub. I've got no money on me. Yeah. Again, ain't my problem. I've got yeah. no money. Ain't well, my what problem. What about if I get someone to come down then and drive away who's got insurance and that in? No, don't work like that. It don't it work does, like it that. It does work that way. No, no it does. not work that way. You've committed two offences. You've got no insurance and no driving Right, well then, I've got rights, yeah? If I can get someone down here to drive my car away who's got insurance, full, full comp, right, and drive the car away. No. Yeah? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. This is like punching Judy. I know the law, no. mate. I know it's being towed away. I know yeah. the law. Yeah, so do I. I've been doing it for 28 years. How many days have you been doing it? It doesn't matter, mate. Hey, you it got a law matter. degree? It doesn't matter. You got a law degree? It doesn't matter. It no? doesn't matter. Well, I have. Right. Yeah, the law states, yeah, right, that if a, if a driver can get down here, yeah, right, fully comp, right, no. and prepared to drive your car, yeah. No. Yeah. The conditions is, I'll give you a piece of paper, you take it to the police station with someone who's got a full licence and insurance to drive this vehicle, and we'll let you have it back again. Yeah, and so where's it going to go then? Compound. Oh, so then you've got to charge me for the compound as well? £105 and 12 You might as yeah. well keep the car then, mate. Oh, well, we can you sign the paper and say that if you want. You can keep the car. I don't want yeah. the car. You That's all right, we're full of paperwork, we'll do that. You can keep the car. Yep. Yeah. You might as well keep the car. Last year, police seized 50,000 motors, of which 20,000 were crushed. Where would you like to take your documents to? I've got to try and get my family on. Yeah, where would you like to take your documents to? Wherever you want to decide. No, you have to name it, not me. But the driver's determined to make this as hard as he can. So where would that be? Rumford? 
Thank you, mate. Have fun. You want to sign your name here for me, please? Do you want to sign this? At the moment, I'm taking stuff out of my car, so you yeah. have to wait now, yeah? You're impounding my car. So yeah, well, I've got to give you another bit of paper, yeah? I want to start you filling that out. You can wait for me, mate. OK, suit yourself. What we'll do is we'll, we'll do this at the police station, if you like. If he's not careful, this bloke could be warned and arrested for his bad behaviour. Even so, he seems keen to cause aggro. Don't get hung over, I blame these. Simple. Yeah, it'll be on your heads, do I make myself clear? My shut dog gets up. Drunk. Don't tell me to shut up, mate. Well, it ain't my fault you ain't got a lead, is it? Don't tell me to shut up. Yeah, well, just behave then. Well, don't right? tell me to shut up. Yeah, well, you're, you're just I'm getting just on, aren't you? My dog gets run over, I'm blaming you. It's simple. This is the paper you use if you want to get the car back. No. I'll explain it to you, just in case you do. No. All right. Right, this you've got seven days since midnight tonight, we produce your licence, insurance and MOT certificate run for police station. Felt do so, as I've already said, is an offence, so don't forget it. I'll give you a piece of paper. His beloved car was crushed when he failed to collect it. The bloke was given seven days to come up with the right documents or get fined. Thank you very much. Do you want these? Another satisfied customer. <laughs>